Hello and welcome to Jurassic's World. My name's Jurassic's and this is my world. And uh, today I thought we would start the episode off a little different with a time lapse just to show a bit more work on our northern wall here where we've made it to the sea over there so we've got a bit more and we still got to decorate the towers with the wooden frames and the insides but it's looking fantastic and I'm loving it. Uh, but today we are very much going to be focused on building our stonemason's hut over there in the town and i think it's going to be a fantastic project the design is by a, uh, a player by the name of shoush uh, so go and check him out he's got a portuguese uh, youtube and an english youtube channel Jauchland and terrace de Jauch. i'll put the links down below and uh, also a link to the videos for this build we are going to make some small changes just so that it fits into our world a little bit better as his was designed for a slightly different style but i'm gonna love it anyway so let's head over and i can show you the plan we've got this little valley over here let me just show you so uh, just down here it's all a bit bit all over the place this is how it naturally spawned uh, but we've got this valley here with uh, buildings up and around from the original village that we uh, took over and then imprisoned the villagers in so I was thinking maybe we could build a stonemason and mini quarry over in this area uh, obviously it would make sense if we had a stonemason for this giant build close to it um, and I think that valley will you be quite a good opportunity to turn into a quarry. So I think what, what we'll do is we'll take out all of these buildings, get rid of them, start from scratch. Uh, I'll do a little bit of terraforming over here just to get our uh, area looking a little bit better and a little bit more sort of form better shape shall we say we've got a uh, a little hole underneath the that building there somehow it's still supported uh but yeah we'll we'll do that and then we can start thinking about putting in the stonemason so uh let me uh jump on and uh get that bit done and then uh we'll come back so we've now cleared out all of the buildings of the old village that were here, a concrete converter down there and anything else that was a real anomaly. And uh, we've now put in a little thing down there, which I'll show you later. Um, but we've put in our template or our, our base of our stonemasons. And now I'm up here, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, actually, we probably need to bump it three or four blocks over because this is right on the edge and it's just going to look a little bit janky once we start uh, terraforming this into our quarry over here etc uh oh oh where did that go i just noticed i did have a raid uh at the top here and the reason was uh, i was doing some lighting up by our wall and uh we've we had some uh, pillagers come along so i got two here and then i got another four over by the two towers uh, or the gate uh, that we built so i'm gonna get them to break their crossbows and then we're gonna get them up on a um, wall protecting us hopefully so somehow i'm gonna have to make that work and not allow them to fall off or any like that so we'll see if that happens uh but yeah we we need to get into this build heavily and quickly so uh let's jump into a time lapse and get this building built <laughs>
So you may have noticed that we have moved our food stall uh, over here. So it was right here, smack bang in the middle. And I decided, you know what, we're going to bite the bullet and just move it over here. Also enlarged it. So we've got a few more barrels in here, a bit wider counter for our villager to cook from. And uh, yeah. Thought, thought that made a bit more sense and then it would give us this larger road coming out of our town square. Uh, but I had a fantastic time building this stone masons. Made a few mistakes along the way but definitely uh, worth building it. So uh, I've now decorated sort of around this area. This bit I've left open. Um, and then down here, I did promise I would show you what was in here. Uh, so let's start from here. That, that sounds like a, a very good idea. So we've got like a little, I guess, stream or uh, what are they called? Spring. Spring. Yeah. So we got a nice little spring coming from the back now, uh, which the townspeople have now harnessed into this little area where we can collect water. And then over here, this will be leading down to our quarry. I think I'm going to put a concrete uh, converter machine, something down there and a few other things. Probably uh, take this back so it looks like we've been taking away some of the stone. Uh, so yeah, so basically from this bush here, we've uh, decorated around to the front. Uh, we've got the lovely bushes here, uh, got some front doors there, and then all the way up here we've got a uh, decorated path and what I think looks looks close to a willow tree. Uh, but let's start down here where we go into the main shop area where we can break the stone and cut it and make it into what we like. So we've got a few stone cutters, uh, some furnaces storage etc a nice little chest up there as well and then uh, an ender chest ah oh, i was going to put a flower pot up there I'll, I'll have to go and grab that and then in here we have our uh what do you call it a stone generator so if we use a uh non silk touch pickaxe we can get cobblestone and if we use one with silk touch we can get uh smooth stone or stone shall we say so there we go uh works fine uh if we need to get some stone great a lot easier got some more storage up here oh if i've got my beacon um uh powered then that will be quicker as well so yeah that's that's pretty cool uh in joush's build he had the stone generator here uh, but I just wanted to make it slightly longer so we had no fear of breaking the last block, especially if we're using uh, a beacon. So, And then up here we have the shop, so downstairs workshop, up here shop, uh, again storage, we've got uh, bills, bill of display, other things. And um, yeah, so we've got this and then round the back a little storage for wood and hail, except hail, hay. Even did a little sign, put the stone cutter on it. I thought thought that was good. And then up here we have the the living space, shall we say? Uh, so we've got a little dining table, a little kitchen. They're they're having steak tonight. Uh, brewing stand and plenty of storage. And then up here, I really loved Joshua's design for this. I thought it was really cool. Uh, so we've got a double bed. Yep, plenty of space got some chests some some libraries and even a, a study area over here a wardrobe that's empty yeah super cool and then you can look down into this area as well i'm loving this build super cool super fantastic definitely a favorite uh obviously if you see joush's uh video i did it a little different so i changed uh, the roof from a wood to the standard one we have here in our town uh, and also change had to change these designs and then the white walls again to, to match some of the other buildings here in our town. So yeah, that is looking so cool. Loving it. Really cool. Really happy with it. Oh, 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 it fills you with chills. So good. 
so yeah, next episode, I think I've got a plan uh, to put a bakery here. I think that would be really cool. So we're close to the square uh, and uh, we'll sell cookies, cake and those sort of things that everyone loves. I might even try and do some uh, head things with other cakes where we can put our own head down. I think think that's possible. Uh, never done it before, so we'll give it a shot, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that is it uh, for today's episode. And just to finish out, we'll do a quick uh, time lapse for building up our towers over here. I'm finishing them off as they load in. I've had to lower the render distance as we've got so much detail in our world. It's, uh, it is starting to struggle. Uh, I have quite a, an old PC, so uh, we are starting to struggle, but we're gonna keep going, sod it. We, we only want things to look really good up close. And yeah, so uh, let's finish off this episode. And I hope you join me next time for another episode on Jurassic's World. Bye!